Imagine a world where a single vehicle could transport humans or payloads to the moon, Mars, or even beyond. What if this vehicle could adapt, like a chameleon, tailoring its design to each unique mission? Sounds like science fiction, right? But in the world of SpaceX, this is rapidly becoming a reality with their revolutionary starship. But here's the question that's on everyone's minds. How can one single vehicle be so adaptable? That's exactly what we're going to explore today. Stay tuned. The jobs Starship can handle are incredibly diverse, from carrying astronauts to the Moon and Mars, to potentially helping humans set up colony on those distant worlds. When you compare Starship to other rockets, the differences become clear. Most rockets, like NASA's Space Launch System or Blue Origin's New Glenn, are built for specific tasks. Starship, on the other hand, is a jack-of-all-trades. The road to get here has been paved with lots of trials and testing. Many different versions of Starship have been built, each one better and smarter than the one before. But SpaceX isn't stopping there. They're already thinking ahead and looking for ways to make Starship even more versatile. They've started dropping hints about a new twist on the design, a naked version of Starship. SpaceX has selected Ship 25, an upper stage prototype, and Booster 9 to lead the next series of ambitious Starship test missions. The choice was made after a series of thorough analyses and intensive preparations. Recently, the team completed a vital engine test with Ship 25, which played a crucial role in validating the systems that would be active in the imminent static fire. Ship 25 is unique, but another interesting prototype is Ship 26. Unlike previous Starship models that were fitted with around 10,000 black ceramic heat shield tiles for atmospheric re-entry, Ship 26 does not have these heat shields. Furthermore, unlike every Starship completed since 2020, it does not have large flaps and form-fitting aero covers which are necessary for control during orbital re-entries and exotic landing maneuvers. In addition to the missing heat shields and flaps, Ship 26 also lacks a payload bay leaving it without the ability to return to Earth or deploy satellites. This lack of features is intriguing and has left many speculating about its potential uses. SpaceX is developing at least four types of starships. The first type of starship under development is the crew ship. Designed with human space travel in mind, these spacecraft are being built to safely carry astronauts on long-duration missions. They will feature all the necessary life support systems and accommodations to ensure a comfortable and safe journey for its passengers. Next on the list is the tanker ship. This unique type of starship is being designed to serve as a fuel station in space. They will carry a vast amount of propellant and are crucial for refueling other starships on long-duration missions, thereby extending their range significantly. The third type is the starship moon lander, specifically designed to touch down on the lunar surface. This starship variant will be critical for future lunar missions, enabling a permanent human base on the lunar surface. The last type under development is a depot ship for in-space refilling. This starship variant will serve as a gas station in space, providing the necessary fuel to other spacecraft, similar to tanker ships but with added capability to store fuel for longer periods. There are indications that the upcoming Ship 26 may be a variant of the depot ship. However, based on the current design, it lacks the hardware for docking or propellant transfer. Additionally, its fuel tanks are the same size as its predecessors, which is unusual for a depot ship that should ideally have larger tanks for extended storage capacity. For it to operate effectively in space for days or weeks, it would also need a robust power source, which is currently not apparent in the design. Further modifications and enhancements would likely be required for Ship 26 to fulfill the role of a depot ship. Ship 26 has also been undergoing testing at SpaceX's site. It was pressurized and loaded with liquid nitrogen and liquid oxygen to simulate the thermal and mechanical loads it would experience when filled with propellant. Also, it has been noted that Ship 27, which seems to be more or less identical to Ship 26, is also being prepared. The mission profile of SpaceX's Starship, including the number and types of Starship needed, depends greatly on the destination of each mission. When it comes to missions to Earth, more Starships are expected to land here than on any other planet. This is because Earth serves as the primary base of operations for the majority of space activities. 
Whenever a starship is loaded with cargo for a launch into low Earth orbit, it is currently estimated that approximately eight additional tanker starships would be needed to refill its fuel tanks. This enables the cargo-carrying starship to undertake further flights. In simple terms, for every starship with cargo that SpaceX wants to send into space, they would need to launch eight more starships filled with fuel to fill up the first starship's tanks again. When we look at lunar missions, the mission profile changes significantly due to the Moon's distinct conditions. Since the Moon lacks an atmosphere, starships will need to make propulsive landings. This means they will need to use their own engines to slow down and land safely, rather than relying on atmospheric friction like they would when landing back on Earth. Despite the challenge of landing on the Moon, the Starship has been designed to be capable of transporting a significant amount of cargo from low Earth orbit to the lunar surface and back. Impressively, it can achieve this without needing to refuel on the Moon. This is a huge advantage as it removes the need for complex and currently unfeasible lunar refueling infrastructure. Now the question on everyone's mind is, when is the next Starship launch? During a recent live chat on Twitter, SpaceX's CEO Musk shared some insight into this, revealing the intensive preparations and numerous changes the company has implemented ahead of its next Starship launch. Astonishingly, more than 1,000 modifications have been made to the spacecraft's design since its first launch on April 20th. That first mission ended dramatically, with the uncrewed rocket exploding above its Texas launch pad. The next launch is especially crucial as the Starship is slated to ferry NASA astronauts back to the moon around 2025. According to Musk, the next liftoff is scheduled for six weeks from now. This timeline aligns with ongoing efforts to upgrade the pad at SpaceX's Starbase spaceport, which sustained damage during the previous launch. However, it's worth noting that Musk has a track record of occasionally overshooting his self-imposed deadlines. He had previously claimed that the next launch would take place six weeks after the liftoff on April 20th. As with any space exploration endeavor, delays and schedule adjustments are often part of the process, as the priority is always the safety and success of the mission. Nevertheless, anticipation for the next Starship launch remains high, and the world watches with bated breath. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.